It's the Fat John versus the Fat Papa. And the Little John versus the Fat Papa. You know, I've been able to uh, be lucky enough to design a number of crankbaits for Spro. The Little John and the Fat John lineup. My buddy Russ Lane has de developed and designed the Fat Papa and the Fat Papa Square Bill crankbaits. These two baits, you know, the, the Little John's, Fat John's, and, and the Fat Papa's, they complement each other very, very well in the, in the lineup. And I'm going to explain to you why they are different and why you need both of them in your tackle box. Sorry, you got to buy them. I mean, if you want to catch fish, whatever. Okay, we're going to get into it right here. I'm going to start with the Little John. This is the Little John and the Little John MD. These are flat-sided crankbaits. Uh, so by nature, they're not going to roll as much as rounded body crankbaits. And the Little John, the entire Little John lineup has a real slow float. So as they, they get, you know, reel down and, and hit the bottom or, you know, go down in the, in the water column, they're going to slowly float up. It stays in the strike zone longer. That creates a different vibration, a different thing for the fish to see uh, and feel. Now the Fat Papas, we're going to start with the original Fat Papa 55. This is a rounder bodied bait, more like the um, you know traditional wooden type crankbaits, and it's got a flatter flatter bill angle, totally different vibration in the water, but this bait is going to have a lot of a lot more roll in it as it comes through, and that it's a lot more buoyant. So when that bait is released, it pops up quickly. That generates a different type of reaction strike. Now the little johns staying in the strike zone longer can elicit certain strikes by fish that want that that bait right in their mouth. And then they got the fat papas, which sometimes the fish want that bait you know, going back to the surface quickly, it's a totally different type of reaction when you stop reeling this bait and, and it causes a different reaction strike. So you get two different types of uh, reactions with the Fat Papa versus the, the Little John MD. And, and they just have much different profiles, uh, much different vibrations in the water. So they complement each other very well. Let's move on over here to the, to the square bill arena. And then, you know, just so if the square bills on the Fat Papa, there's two different sizes. You know, you've got the bigger light bulb is what we call it. Me and Russ, we call it the light bulb. And then you've got the smaller square bill. And then this is the, the, the Fat John right here. Uh, this is kind of the workhorse for me. And as you can see, they kind of fill, it fills in the lineup, you know, as far as profile and size. But even, even with that, uh, these baits have much different vibration. The Fat John is, is still doesn't roll quite as much as a normal square bill. And that, that Fat John, it, it hunts off center as you just steady reel it. So you've got those two dynamics to think about uh, on, the, on the Fat John, then on the, the Rust Lane Fat Papa, it's gonna be more buoyant. This, this is also a buoyant bait. Uh, the Fat John lineup is is more buoyant, not like the Little John, and then but these are even more buoyant. If you're familiar with the older wooden square bill type crankbaits, the balsa bees, that is exactly what Russ did with this bait right here. Tons of buoyancy, man. When that thing hits hits cover, it's going to deflect, do all kind of wild, erratic things, uh, and it's going to have a lot of roll as that bait is being uh, being retrieved. A ton of roll so you're gonna get just a different look a different profile and a different vibration than you do from the fat John and that's why those two baits are so much different and the deeper uh, divers it's it's really kind of the same thing the little John DD versus the fat Papa uh, the the deeper diver fat Papa that bait is a is very sneaky I think that's that's the phrase Russ likes to use with that bait it's got a, a sneaky uh, vibration to it. It's not a real harsh vibration. It's a very subtle, uh, because it does that roll, it rolls as it vibrates. The Little John DD has that Xing action, very similar to, uh, to like the MD or the original Little John, it has that Xing, exit, uh, Xing action, uh, just a completely different vibration. And again, 
they complement each other very well. Uh, so that's the big difference between the Fat John and the Fat Papa in the square bill side and the Fat Papa and the Little John in the regular crankbait. So you wanna know the difference? That's the difference. And I can tell you, uh, just a general crankbait rule, the fish want different vibrations, different days. There's really no way to tell, oh man, you know, early in the spring, you have to throw the Little John MD or in the fall or this or that, or the Fat Papa works great in this particular window. Man, don't paint yourself in a corner as far as that goes. Let the fish tell you what vibration they want. Don't worry about the water temperature. Don't worry about time of year. I can just tell you, let the fish um, tell you what you make sure you hit the right depth range and let the fish tell you what vibration you want. Uh, have a, an array of vibrations ready to throw at them, just like you do with the Little John and the Fat Papa lineup, and you'll be a much better crankbait fisherman.